Hello to this beautiful audience. I'm here to present the very best entertainment producer for private events, Junior Antonias. Junior has been an entertainment producer for private events for the past 20 years with more than a thousand weddings and 1,500 events overall in South Florida, nationally and overseas. He's also the only Hispanic preferred vendor of entertainment at the Breakers and Maralago Palm Beach, among 73 others properties. He has also produced more than 12 albums in tropical, pop, and urban music. How are you, Junior? Thank you for being here and share your experience with us. We want to know how everything started, how you, how you become who you are right now. Well, everything started back in my hometown country, Venezuela, um, when I was only six years old. Um, my mom used to listen to the radio, um, the song that she likes, and by the time, at the same time she was cooking, uh, she was dancing, you know? And I got hooked by it because I discovered that music can make people happy. And since, you know, the love that I feel for her, you know, that, that brought me to think and to find out more about the reason why she was dancing. So I started, like, um, moving the radio and looking for other songs and to see, to see how she could react to them, you know. So one slower songs, faster songs, and she kept looking at me like, oh my God, look at you, so, you know, then, well, I discovered the passion by the love, really, that I have for my mom and, um, and how, how much she loved music, how much she loved dancing. And with that being said, I discovered and I, everything started from this passion that I have for making people dance. Everything started by, by making her dance, by making her happy. So that's, uh, that's how everything started. Then obviously throughout the years I moved uh, I moved here to the US and uh, um, I was a percussionist on my teenage years and then I started uh, like getting trying to gather information from every every single aspect of the music industry uh, everything from being a club promoter from being a, um, a club manager from being a you know a manager or an assistant of a band things like that so I then obviously I went to college and I study business administration and um, I, I have a, a major in music business so that's what I study so I put together what I like which is business and people and music I put a lot together that's how I am so this is not actually I don't leave it like a work but I leave it as life this is life to me. it's your passion yes Yes, it is, definitely it is. I'm very passionate about everything I do and everything I, I create. Um, I'm very happy, sometimes I barely sleep on thinking what's next, what to do, want to. Oh, oh, are you, are you, I'm a believer that you don't actually make it by, by just, uh, um, just excelling yourself, but reinventing yourself. That's what makes you really, you know, going after that challenge of what's next. That's what drives me the most. Aside from the fact of uh, I'm, I'm a true natural competitor, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. So I wonder, and I think the audience is wondering too, how the first event is start? How do you say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna build this band, I'm gonna kill it? Yeah, everything started by listening to several, um, to several bands back in my hometown in, in South America and Venezuela. I used to listen a lot of Gran Combo de Puerto Rico, and I grew up uh, listening to Juan Luis Guerra, Wilfrido Vargas, and also uh, Huaco, which is a super band from Venezuela, and in terms of Latino bands, but I also grew up listening a lot of uh, Spanish rock, like uh, Los Pericos from, uh, from South America, you know, um, from Argentina and all that. Um, and also another influence for me was made on work from Australia, Queen from England. Of so I'm very knowledgeable about world, I mean global music and global entertainment. That's what I believe I give you the edge of the, in the knowledge per se, of understanding what the people from different demographics might want and need for, you know, 
I have a very uh, European influence and I have a South American influence and I also grew up you know, with the American influence of music, yes.